Hey everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm really glad you're here and you found us on YouTube. I always appreciate the time that you and I get to spend together, so thanks for tuning in. And I hope wherever you are, that you're happy, healthy, and staying safe. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite running socks. It's the Maxis by Swiftwick. Now, before I get into it too far, I do want to get a disclosure out of the way. The Maxis One Running Socks by Swiftwick were sent to me for the purpose of review. However, no one's paying me to make the video. No one's telling me what to say. And no one from Swiftwick has an opportunity to preview my thoughts before I share them with you first. You're on YouTube. So let's start with the cost first. Now, the Maxis One retails for $16.99, and that's US dollars. I ordered a medium. And according to their size chart, that fits a U.S. men's size 7 to 9.5, and, and these fit me perfectly. If at any point in time during this video you want to learn a little bit more about the Maxis One Swiftwick running socks, I'll put a link in the description below that will take you right to them on their product webpage. So let's talk about some of the features of the Maxis One that make them one of my favorite running socks. And I'm going to start in the heel, and you can see that it has this micro tab here. So why is that important? Well, you might notice from the shoe shelf behind me that this is a running channel and I do a lot of shoe reviews and training videos but with the shoes these days the majority of them now have these Achilles heel flares and this micro tab comes up just high enough to protect your heel or your Achilles from any kind of rubbing or contact against the back of your shoe that way you can avoid any kind of blisters now I did use these socks. These are the socks that I wore when I completed the Boston Marathon. It was 26.2 miles, most of which was in the rain, and I didn't have any kind of blistering at all. These were really comfortable. And if you'd like to check out some of that race footage of the Boston Marathon where I was wearing the Swiftwick socks, I'll put a card above that you can click on. It'll take you right to that video. Or better yet, if you're interested in checking out other content, other running videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I upload new content. These do have arch support, and you can see that here with this black band that's got some stretch material that runs across the top of your foot. Now that band continues on around through to your arch. It gives a little bit of gentle compression, feels really comfortable on foot, but it also helps to hold your socks in place so you didn't have any kind of bunching, and it just maintains a nice perfect fit throughout your run. These have a thin upper and they use an open knit pattern to help improve or maintain a high level of breathability. Now, I've been wearing these to train for the Boston Marathon as well as to run in it. And the weather here has been really up and down, a bit of a roller coaster here in Michigan. And some days it might be in the high 30s. Another day it was in the 70s, pushing 80 degrees. But these felt really comfortable on foot anywhere from that, oh, I would say 50 to 80 degrees. Super breathable, very comfortable to wear. And they have a moisture wicking property. So when I was out running in the rain, they didn't hold in the water. It was wicking them away so that my feet were really comfortable throughout the race. They have a seamless toe box that eliminates friction. That way you can avoid getting blisters up around your toes. Now the Maxxis lineup of socks, they feature the maximum amount of cushion on the soles of your feet. They use a material that they call Reprieve. Now this is a high performance fiber that's made from consumer water bottles that have been recycled. That added bit of cushion there on the bottom of your feet does add a little bit of comfort to your run experience. And then the last feature I wanted to talk about is the construction of the heel. They used a Y shape, so it contours to your heel. It moves when you move, and they didn't have any kind of slippage or bunching of the material. I also want to give kudos to Swiftwick for being environmentally conscious and using recycled water bottles in order to produce those high-performance fibers that make these socks so darn comfortable. I also love the fact that they're using this moisture-wicking material. It's called fiber first moisture wicking and it does an excellent job of keeping your feet comfortable when you're out on the run i also love the contoured compression here around the midsection of the sock that covers both around the top of your foot and across the bottom of your arch very comfortable and it holds the socks in place overall i think they're worth the money that you're asking for hey thanks for making it to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed making it for you as always run tall run strong be kind to one another thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on run tall with tim